Hello, welcome to Steps Gaming. I'm Kristen Steps, back today with another video. I got it finally, my Switch Online Super Famicom controller from Japan. Got it off of eBay. I've uh, wanted a controller. I, I upgraded to a Switch OLED about a month ago, and the first thing I noticed playing NES World Championships is I needed a good D-pad. And I go, you know what? I don't necessarily need to get an NES controller. This controller would be more versatile, has a great D-pad, should be great for playing those games, and uh, give me that authentic Super Famicom, Super Nintendo experience. I always wanted a Super Famicom because I thought it was much better looking than the original Super Nintendo. I always liked that this had the four different colors as opposed to the purple buttons and uh, just always wanted one. So I thought, you know what? This is my perfect opportunity to get a Super Famicom branded product. So I did. And we're gonna open it up. We're gonna check it out, see how it works with my Switch, see what kind of cool features we got and see if this is worth buying. So here's the box. Obviously we got Japanese down at the bottom. We can read that it's Switch Online though. And then the back of the box looks just like the American version, of course, but it's in Japanese writing. Don't know Japanese writing. Obviously I could use a translation of some sort, but we're not gonna even mess with that. Just boring stuff about how to connect, right? So let's get her open. Check this sucker out. So we get an included USB-C cable. A lot of things don't come with cables anymore, so I'm happy to have a USB-C cable. I could always use those, especially for this controller. Got a nice protective window there. And here we go with the protective bag. Check that out. We got uh, L and R, our ZL and ZR, and we got our USB-C charging right there. So that's pretty awesome. There's no home button on here, but I think there's a combination of buttons we could press. I'll have to look up what it is to get it to go to the home. Uh, we got select start, nice D-pad, and convex buttons. No concave on the Super Famicom controller. That was exclusive to the US. Now for comparison here, I only got a couple options because I never had another Famicom controller. We have my original, this is my original Super Nintendo controller from my original box Super NES that I have. Now you can see it's got some wear and tear here, obviously, but when we look at it, the gray is a little bit different, right? We, I think we got a little bit different gray in the Famicom versus the Super Nintendo. Um, so that's something different. Obviously it says Nintendo Super Famicom instead of Super Nintendo. But this one's got a lot of wear. You can see that the R button falls in. I have another controller that I was gonna take this out and fix this, haven't gotten around to it yet. Cause this controller is important to me. This is my very first Super Nintendo controller. It's official, right? I also have this Assessi pad. This is for the Super Nintendo. This had the Famicom controller, so they didn't even change this for the US market. This gray, eh, it's more like the original Super Nintendo gray, but it has the, the button colors of the Super Famicom. And uh, obviously it had turbo switches and things like that. And this is actually a really good controller. I'm not usually a fan of third party controllers, but this one actually feels like a Super Nintendo controller, but it just has turbos. And I, I do recommend this controller. Uh, it's a good one, not bad at all. Okay, so you could see down there, if I could zoom in on it maybe, you could zoom in, zoom in, you could see that they have recognized the Super Famicom controller down there it has the, the different uh, green, yellow, red, and blue buttons, recognizes it successfully as what it's supposed to be. So that is great. So now we are going to get out of this menu and we are going to go over to Super Nintendo and we're gonna check it out. Okay, going into Super Nintendo. As you can see, everything here is in working order. We could test out the game real quick. Make sure the controller works. Got the original Super Mario World. Let's see, let's just get to a level. It's funny because I have a um, 
I have a light stand on my lap so I could film this. It's kind of weird. At least I got both both arms available here to try to maneuver around this. Hey, look, I can see, kind of. Hey, hey. Everything appears to be in working order here. That's what I get for goofing off, right? I'm just testing the buttons. Anyway, you see that it works. Uh, so if I press ZR right here, that works as a home button, right? And if I hit ZR and ZL, I could bring up this. It should just bring up this menu, right? And I could do whatever. Um, but something you should know is that only works in the Super Nintendo, the Famicom, the Nintendo, or the Super Famicom menu. Like if I go over here, say I go to Game Boy Advance, go to Game Boy Advance. Now I could play the game, right? I can go in Super Mario Bros. 3, for example. Game Boy Advance version, see it's working. But if I hit this, look at this. I can't get out. It only works in specific apps, which is a bummer because it would make sense if I could use this controller in these games on the Game Boy Advance. Shouldn't be a problem. So I have to go over here or to another controller to hit home to go back to here, um, we can check out Super Famicom real quick just to show you what's going on. And, and uh, what happens is when you go into these, Super Famicom or Super Nintendo, it doesn't really matter. Are we not going in? Did I hit the wrong thing? I think I hit the wrong thing. All right, start anyway. Okay, so when it goes in, it should make a noise that you got the right controller and everything. Like it's normally red, but it changes, see, to gray right there and uh, we can go through here and uh, find a game Donkey Kong Country aka Super Donkey Kong apparently Super Donkey Kong it's a good one Super Donkey Kong let's go this takes too long Yes, let's go. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to, to have a, a stand, a, a camera stand on my lap while I'm trying to play. There we go. Nobody should ever die at that point. But again, I, my view is restricted. Now I'm just looking over the stand. I'm still having issues. Anyway, you get the point. It works. If I press ZR, I can get out of Super Famicom. We can go over here to Nintendo. Nintendo Famicom. Doesn't make a difference, right? P pick your poison. <laughs> you can get the Japanese versions, the Famicom and the Super Famicom. As long as you create a second Switch Online account and you make it Japanese. Now, you don't have to pay for Switch Online. As long as you just make a Nintendo account and put it on the console and then use that account to download the Japanese apps, that's awesome. It works. And then as long as you're signed into your account that has Switch Online, it'll play. If your Japanese account doesn't have Switch Online, even though you downloaded those apps, it won't play on that account, but who cares? All you got to do is use that account to download the Japanese apps. So yeah, just create another email, another Nintendo account, and you can um, play the Japanese apps. Just put your from Japan, and then play them on your regular account that has a Switch Online. Works out pretty well. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes not. I mean, some of the NES versions actually have differences because for like the Japanese versions, they were a Famicom disk system. So, like, they're actually better audio. Granted, you could play Zelda with better audio, but you're not going to be able to understand what they're saying. 
you know. <laughs> and actually, even Link to the Past, like, the palaces don't have different colors. I should never let Glass Joe even hit me once. Anyway, I could play Mike Tyson's Punch Out all day. Let's just just get out of that. Um, obviously, it'll play Famicom just the same. We already know that. So let's check out one of the reasons I bought this controller because I wanted a better controller for NES uh, championships because I want to have a, a good D-pad for playing this. And... Um, want to see if this would work because you know it's much better to have a rounded controller than the old square nest controller that gives me blisters sometimes it's very square it's ugh. okay world championships okay current challenges whatever now this one here this is gonna be really hard with me trying to look through this <laughs> all right here we go I accidentally picked up a tournament. Turn turn up. Not bad. Could be better. Let's go. Ah. There we go. S tier. Not as good as my last one there. 3.88. But hey, we'll take it. You can see it works pretty well for Nest Championship Edition as well. Pretty awesome. Again, I'm not going to be able to hit the home button now, so we're going to have to hit the button there. All right. Let's summarize. So there we have it. Super Famicom Nintendo Switch Online Controller. So happy to finally have it. Love the colorfulness of the Super Famicom. It's probably the best thing fam Super Famicom I'm ever going to have, so that's pretty cool. Gonna love using this for the Nintendo World Championships. I'm gonna love using this for Super Nintendo and NES games. And of course, their Japanese counterparts if I feel the need to go into those apps as well. And uh, really awesome to have this. Uh, I think if you need one, you could just get the Super Nintendo one, it's probably just fine. I do like these convex buttons better, I like the colors better. But you tell me, do you like the Super Famicom design better? Do you like the Super Famicom controller design better? Do you like the Super NES? What's your preference? You know, maybe you're just happy with what's in your area. Maybe you don't care one way or the other. I think it's sleeker. I like the colorfulness of the Japanese version better. So there we go. So happy to have it. Uh, looking forward to hearing from you all in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I have more Nintendo, more video game, more arcade content coming weekly all the time on this channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.